A partnership between a local community organization and Bank of America aims to help black owned businesses thrive in one of Atlanta's historic neighborhoods. 11 Alive's Karis Belger explains how it works in tonight's Voices for Equality. It's the neighborhood that raised a Dr. King, and it's the neighborhood that um, was one of the seats of the civil rights movement. And it's this neighborhood that Leonu Varnell wants to see grow as a black economic hub in the city of Atlanta. As the executive director of Sweet Auburn Works, he's helping lead initiatives that will help make it happen. Our job is to ensure that our businesses, our residents, and our owners have some agency in their growth and have the ability to um, manage their future on their terms. One of the solutions involves this building. And this black owned, uh, black built building um, will continue to be adaptively reused in the commercial space and retail space for the neighborhood. With a grant from Bank of America, Sweet Auburn Works is hoping to take this building and make it a home for entrepreneurs like Shannon Mitchell. I've been doing pop-ups since COVID started, so being in a physical space would be amazing. Mitchell's Shea Butter business was born out of necessity and thrived during the pandemic when other businesses were shutting down. It was during a pop-up that she learned about Sweet Auburn Works. Just took the opportunity and decided to be part of the team. Once the space is done, Mitchell plans to use it to expand. Hers is just one of the businesses the partnership is designed to help with an overall goal of racial equity through economic growth. When you think about uh, wealth building and in our communities, what we know is that small business entrepreneurship is a great path. Harris Belger, 11 Alive. Now, this project is part of Bank of America's larger commitment to addressing financial inequity. And for those who are interested, there's more grant opportunities available. You can find that information on our website, 11alive.com.